Ms. Tanvi Arora had an unfortunate injury to her left knee following a fall. Because of her overweight, the impact on the knee was quite significant. I was shattered when I got a phone call from my daughter staying alone in Bangalore on Sunday night in the middle of the night at 1.30 that she had fell and was going to call an ambulance and go to a hospital. An initial evaluation, I could realize that she has got an intra-articular fracture, which is a fracture within the joint, which not only was traumatic, but also affected the functionality of one of the important ligament in the knee joint. And I was quite sure from that time that a surgical intervention is required for her for sure. Associated medical condition and her obesity posed a clinical challenge to all the clinicians who were involved in her management. As a mother, I was tensed, scared and had a lot of mixed feelings about having neglected and not being with her. But the moment she reached the hospital and I could speak to the doctor, I was convinced that she was in very good hands at the right place where she would get the best of treatments. We have done a proper evaluation with physician and cardiologist and according to their advice, giving general anesthesia was not advised but at the same time giving a spinal anesthesia was a tough task. Listening to the doctor and his voice had calmed me beyond measure and I, on the phone itself, I gave him full permission to go ahead with the operation procedures and by the time I reached on Tuesday, all the formalities, the tests and everything else was done and everything was in place and I could sign the consent form, meet the doctor, be very confident of his uh, you know, work that he would be doing. I lost all my fears. Of course, I was chanting, my friends were chanting for my daughter's welfare. I must thank my anesthetic team, Dr. Shafi and Dr. Sundar, who did a fantastic job and secured a epidural line along with spinal anesthesia. With this, I was able to fix the fracture, restore the anatomy and the functionality of the cruciate ligament by doing a keyhole surgery which means putting a camera into the knee and performing the entire surgery with another hole put into the knee joint. I was able to manage this with usage of the very minimal hardware inside the knee joint, which is evident on the post-operative x-ray. With this, Ms. Tanvi is now up and mobile with very minimal aid and support. And as we thought, things went very smoothly right from my coming over to all the people I met on the way who supported me, the doctor who said after the operation felt there was some power which was helping me through, seeing my, the smiling face of my daughter immediately after the operation gave me immense pleasure. And now that she is walking, taking a few steps and just telling me that she can take good care of herself and I can go back and take care of her ailing father. I wish all the best to Dr. B. A. Gopalakrishnan and the staff and the management of Malati Manipal Hospitals and may you all jointly serve humanity as never before and have a lot of happy customers and um, patients and to all patients I would like to say that the moment you leave your fears aside and have confidence on your doctor, things will definitely move towards the best that is for you.